Hey guys, so welcome to a new series of videos where we are going to be taking one of uh, my lovely wife's paintings um, and just going into some of the background of what inspired uh, this painting, her experience of painting it, um, any scripture passages that inspired it, and uh, essentially the point of this is not to tell you this is how you interpret this painting, uh, but our hope is that when you see this painting, uh, what we are doing provides a springboard for you to uh, be inspired in your own way, for you to be drawn into prayer, drawn deeper into your relationship with God. Um, so that's our hope. Yeah, so as background, uh, I paint things out of inspirations that come into my heart, but if you're inspired by something that is completely outside the bounds of what was in my head, that's great. Like, this is not intended to just you must see what I saw. Yeah, I think it's a great distinction. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember being in English classes like in high school and college and our professor was always like, this is the way to interpret this. And I'm like, we don't really know that. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it is so stifling. I think you're so right. It is. Yeah. yeah. And that's really why I like free form music too as opposed to sticking mm -hmm. to sonatinas. They're great, but if I'm playing music, I like to be able to let flow what what my heart is doing at the moment. And I feel the same way about looking at art, at least at least art that is intended to inspire you to experience God in a deeper way. Like God's going to speak to all of us in the same scripture passage all different ways. So yeah. hopefully similar situation with my paintings. Yeah, sweet. So uh, do you want to tell us what is going on? What is this? What are we looking at? Yeah, so this is Jesus sharing I've, I've created like a merge yoke and cross so he's sharing it with somebody and I kind of wanted people to be able to put themselves in the place of that person so like imagining yourself being under Jesus arm that way I wish my forearms were as full as this guy's yeah that wasn't supposed to be a real full forearm I really like it though Thanks. It makes me, it inspires jealousy in me. Good. Already bringing you closer to the kingdom. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So the hope is that they would be able to enter themselves into that. Yeah. And so there were two scripture passages that particularly inspired this. The first one is where it says, um, take my yoke upon you. And learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Might have missed a line in there, but that's the essence. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that that verse puzzled me for a very long time, because it's like, his yoke is not light, and his yoke is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our experience is very different. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it takes, it takes a lot of getting close to him to get that it's easy and light in different ways than we expect it to be. Yeah. Um, but one time I was at a prayer meeting with my family and somebody was reflecting on that when you're training two oxen under one yoke, mm -hmm. that, well, when you train an ox, you put it with an experienced ox and they share it mm. and they like go along together intimately huh. walking the same walk under the same yoke. And I started thinking, wow, I'm, I'm literally, like, Jesus is with me, like, physically carrying the same yoke. And, that, like, the reflection was just what an intimate experience that is. To, mm. like, not, like, I'm not just taking up a yoke because Jesus told me to. I'm t taking a, up a yoke because Jesus wants to walk that closely with me. Yeah. And that changes it completely. Yeah. Um, and, and the experience, too, of, like, like the challenges of life are still there. You know, yeah. like, it's still, we're going to be carrying a yoke no matter what. Right. You, know? you can't and get just, out of it. You can't live this life without those challenges unless you just die. In which yeah. case you're not living. Yeah, life. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. And so the idea is, you know, are we doing it by ourselves or are we doing it um, with somebody else, like, you know, put a bag of money on the other side of the yoke, you know, but it's like, if that, if any of those things we put there help, um, you know, to what very limited extent do they help? Right. And in a lot 
lot of ways they just end up being dead weight we were carrying around. Yeah, and like if we're just carrying a yoke with somebody else, they're not like they're not experts at that. You're still yeah. gonna like stumble along. It's like two people kayaking who don't know how to kayak together and they're in the same boat. But like if I'm going this way and you're going this way, it's like it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, but if I'm carrying Jesus yoke with him, like he's the expert at carrying that specific yoke. It's mm. just gonna go easier. Yeah, and so. it's an interesting point that he knows like our particular yokes. You know, it's right. not like a one size fits all kind of situation. He knows exactly what our burdens are, what our wounds are, the things that our personalities, the things that we really like struggle to accept and the things that come easily to us. He's the one who really knows all those things mm -hmm. uh, much better than we know, yep. let alone anybody else. Yep. So is there another scripture passage that also influenced this? Yeah, so it's, um, I think it's in Matthew. Wherever it is, it says, <laughs> uh, any man who would follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Hmm. So. I, I kind of, those two verses seemed very similar to me, and so I realized, and there, there's a way in which the yoke is a analogy of the cross, mm -hmm. and so taking up your cross, taking up your yoke, following him, um, either way, taking up your cross and letting him carry it with you is, um, that's very comforting and very powerful, and that's really what it is, so, yeah. um, so I put them both in one thing, and then. Jesus Jesus has the strength to carry our crosses all on his own mm -hmm. without any help from us but there's something about the way that God chooses to respect us the way that God desires for us to be more than kind of just slaves little ants running around he desire us desires for us to freely by our choice to participate in what he's doing in his mm -hmm. power in his strength in his salvation of us um, and making us who we're most meant to be. Yeah. And to me, the yoke imagery and the carrying the cross imagery um, invokes not just a sense of God helping us, which it, it, it does that, um, but to also you know have that balance with the side of God is allowing a small part for us to play mm -hmm. um, in doing that. Yeah. And. Um it's cool because there's nothing as bonding as mm. sharing a struggle with somebody. Yeah. And it's it's cool from both perspectives. Like, it's bonding for us to, like, share that struggle with God in, in the sense that I would be, again, I would be struggling with that thing anyways. Yeah. But, like, if I go through a really rough time with you as my yeah. husband, we're yeah. going to come out stronger and closer to each other. Yeah. So we if never, I, we never have rough times. Never. <laughs> we are angels. <laughs> we just spent the whole morning having a rough time. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how much we hate each other after. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah. So if you go through struggles with somebody, you bond. Uh, as long as you go through it the right way. Yeah. Uh, and come out the other side. Come out the other side. Yeah. <laughs> um. And so, like, that he would let us, that he would enter into that struggle with us and share it with us is so bonding with him. But it's kind of a cool thought to think on his side, like, he's sharing his struggles. Like, mm. like I bonded with that son or daughter. Like, mm. we don't think from his perspective too often, yeah. but that's a pretty cool thought. Yeah, and for, like, the parents, um, you know, looking at it from a perspective of a parent, how much parents um, seem to uh, cherish so much bonding moments with their kids yeah you know and it's not uh you know there's a sense in which as a parent you kind of have chosen to need your kids we have these unfortunate examples of parents who abandon their kids who don't need their kids who abuse their kids um and so there seems to be there's a natural element in which parent parents need their kids but there's also an element in which parents choose to need their kids, choose mm -hmm. not to abandon them, choose to love them and care about them. Right. And to that extent, it's a choice. It's not something they have to do. Yeah. Um, but nevertheless, that bonding coming out of desire rather than necessity um, is a powerful experience that mm -hmm. they have that God can have with us right. and seems to choose to do so. Yeah, and like all throughout any part of the Bible that talks about God being our father, it's like talked about as a gift that he gave to us like he chose mm. to make us his children like he doesn't 
actually need us, but in that way he does choose choose us as children which is in a way of choosing to need us yeah. in a relational kind of way yeah. which is really beautiful yeah like, you're giving up a lot of freedom to do that mm. yeah <laughs> so. yeah absolutely well do you have any uh closing remarks or any comments about your experience any experiences you had while you were painting it yeah uh this was the first painting that i ever did that i felt was inspired in some way okay leading up to this painting i just painted things that i thought were nice or uh or or i painted things that touched me maybe from the bible but i never like felt like on this level that i was inspired to paint it and I, like ever since this painting that's how i've approached painting so yeah. this was like hmm. a turning point for me this painting when you say you were you felt inspired to paint it what does that look like because i think some of us might hear that and it could be anything from like John being, you know, the experience of John in Revelation where he's like drawn up to heaven and like God <laughs> said, God said, write this down, you know. Um, yeah. But there's also lots of room in between that and like this is all me and like God dictated this to yeah. me. Well, you know, could you? Well, I've certainly on that? never been drawn up into heaven. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think for me the difference is. Especially if I make myself available to the inspirations by like spending quiet time with God and also just asking him to paint through me and to give me ideas. Um, there's just a sense in which like these ideas will come into my head that I couldn't come up with that on my own. Like I don't think that way. Yeah. So um, I can tell I can tell when it was God's idea, not my idea, mm. because I wouldn't have come up with that idea. Yeah. And I can tell when it's God painting through me, which I do ask him. I like whenever I sit down to paint, I'm like, Holy Spirit, please paint through me because I want this to be not only for his glory and to help people experience him, but also because I do struggle with pride. And so if he does all the painting, then I can't take any credit yeah. for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I experience inspiration by seeing things come out that I couldn't have made or come up with. Yeah. Sweet. Wonderful. Well, we hope that you are uh, inspired by this painting, by our conversation, by the uh, passages from Scripture. And our hope is that, uh, again, that this will stir your heart um, and in some way uh, bring you more alive and draw you closer to God. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we're good at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing we're, we don't have a, like an awkward phase starting out. A lot of people have that, but we, we, we're not having that. So it's well, good. It, I mean, it's not that we have an awkward phase. We're just awkward the whole time. So it yeah. doesn't stand out. Yeah, we skip it. Yeah. <laughs> God bless, guys. <laughs> Bye. Understanding that we are actually contributing. We're actually doing something. Jesus is strong enough. Bye. Okay. What was I saying? I have no idea. <laughs> Something about crosses. Oh, carrying crosses. Yeah.